regulation are all around us, whether it is security to protect our airports or in our immune system to protect our bodies. Wait, why would our own immune system need to be regulated? Well, our body security patrol is made up of guards called cytotoxic T cells, which are white blood cells specially designed to detect and kill damaged cells. But our T cells are not perfect. Sometimes they're overstimulated and attack healthy cells without properly identifying whether they pose threats. This leads to the rise of autoimmune diseases like type 1 diabetes, in which a person's own immune system attacks their cells and tissues. Luckily, we have biological pathways called immune checkpoints that help regulate the immune system and prevent this autoimmunity. Cytotoxic T cells have an off switch called PD1. When this checkpoint protein is activated, these T cells can be turned off so they don't attack healthy cells. Let's use the airport security analogy. The cytotoxic T cells that actively scan for, detect, and eliminate threats to the body are like the guards who operate the airport scanners. They check for security threats and get rid of them, removing them from the airport. But sometimes, these airport scanners malfunction and become hypersensitive, sending red flags for everyone, whether or not they pose a threat. These faulty scanners need to be turned off so that many normal people are not unnecessarily removed from the airport. But there is an evil mastermind who takes advantage of the off switch. He can sneakily turn off the airport scanners by himself so that he is not detected as a threat and is not eliminated. Say hello to cancer. Some cancer cells have a protein called PDL1 that binds to its receptor PD1 on the cytotoxic T cells and turns them off so they can't kill cancer. But can we devise a new cancer therapy that prevents cancer from exploiting these off switches? This question sparked a breakthrough immune checkpoint inhibitors. These drugs are used to target. PD-1 on the cytotoxic T cells, uh oh, or PDL-1, binding to and blocking these proteins that help cancer cells evade attack by the T cells. So basically, like putting a glass box around the off switch, or tying the hands of the cancer cells together so that it can't hit the off button. These immune checkpoint inhibitors boost the immune system and can help keep the T cells active. Scientists are currently investigating how immune checkpoint inhibitors can effectively fight many types of cancer. Fasten your seatbelt as we soar to new heights in cutting edge cancer treatment.